Hello everyone, it's Michael here. A little while ago I had the idea of making a puppet of Yoda from just like in the original Star Wars movies. I thought it would be a really good way to test my skills and learn some new things on the way. It definitely, like, it didn't really turn out the way that I wanted to, but if, but, well, like, with what I learned, if I were to make another model like this again in the future, I definitely know how I'd go about it next time. Uh, this is going to be a three-part video, so this part mostly deals with the sculpting side, with the other two parts being the moulding and the casting and finishing. So I hope you enjoy it, I hope you get something out of it, and let's go.
a conversation that you might be preventing from meditating.
this point, I've got all the sculpting done and the moulds made for those pieces. Um, so I've taken them out of the moulds and they're basically kind of useless now because they're just drying clay. Uh, but I've got everything that I need out of it, which is the actual mould. So this would be one of these hands. Maybe this one. So with these moulds, I can now make as many of these hands as I want with some other other material. I'm going to make a. I've decided that from from here on, I'm going to make a base uh, that I can put this these pieces on on the character. Um, just so I have a framework uh, to, to build off. So I'll make a base and then uh, get some rough sort of uh, uh, joints and things for the legs and the arms and the body and then I can put this, these things over uh, the arms and this on top of the neck and that sort of thing. And for, because I wanted to make a puppet basically, I've been thinking about how to actually make the articulating joints. So I've got some wheels that um, that I think can these wheels I think can work as a shoulder joint. So because the shoulder goes up and down and left and right, and this wheel can do the similar sort of thing. So I'm gonna mount this about here on the body, on the body here, so it can go forward and back. And if I put a piece of wood up and down here, then it can rotate uh, up and down. And also, one really handy thing about this is it's got this brake on here, which can lock uh, lock both uh, axes of uh, rotation. So that means that I can actually position it uh, in a particular way uh, later on when it's all. Uh, put together and three arms uh, hanging out so that'd be really handy